Good afternoon, everyone. So we're on the other side of Thanksgiving, Black Friday, um, Small Business Saturday, and today is Cyber Monday. So we're doing a lot of shopping in preparation for the holidays that we celebrate, whether they be um, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, winter solstice, you know, whatever it is that we celebrate. Um, December, really November and December, are months that are difficult, months that can be stressful, and um, months that can take their toll on us. This is the time of year when a lot of people are alone. This is the time of year when a lot of people are feeling lonely, vulnerable, um, you know, they're wondering how they're going to pay for everything that's expected, how they're going to work and do everything that is expected, you know, how they're going to pull these celebrations together, etc. And I was just kind of thinking about all of this earlier today and thinking about my own life and experiencing my own personal stress. And I just thought, you know what, this would be a great video to do, you know, a great topic to discuss. So I'm going to do it right now. So I just thought I would mention little things I do in order to feel better. First of all, I wear something that makes me feel good. I always wear, let's see if I can do it without showing my credentials, I always wear this, the love symbol. This year we lost Prince earlier and it's been difficult for those of us who are fans and um, I wear that, it makes me feel so much better, so connected, um, makes me feel energetic and it makes me just celebrate and appreciate all of the artistry and music that this man brought to the world, you know. Um, so that's the first thing I do to feel better every day, not just during this holiday season, but every single day. Um, since he's been gone, I've been wearing this. Um, the next thing I do to feel better is I just wear articles of clothing too like I love this scarf I love the color I love you know the fact that it's got blue and red and you know the cool design and all of this and I try my best I've worn this with other articles of clothing but I love wearing it with this shirt the striped shirt you know mixed with this floral print um, mixing and matching patterns I love doing that in art in my clothes in whatever um Aside from wearing things that you love and things that make you feel good, you can be around people that make you feel good or that you are able to relax and be yourself with. That's something I enjoy doing and I do that as often as I can. They can be people you work with, but I recommend that they're not only people you work with. In fact, I recommend that you get to know people in various ways, um, whether it's people that you meet through different organizations and groups. If you're not a member of anything, any organizations, any groups, there's a great app called Meetup. I know it's available in all of the big cities. Well, most of the big cities in the United States. I believe they also um, have organizations that are uh, listed through them in other countries from what I've heard. But anyway, Meetup, you click on that you download that Meetup app, you click on it, put in your information for your local city, state, whatever, and you can put what you're interested in and groups will pop up that you can join in public settings, meet some new people, you know, mix it up this holiday season, do some something you've always been interested in but you haven't ever done through a Meetup group. And I, I get nothing from them, that's just an app that I like to use. Um, you can still do things that you enjoy doing or want to do during the holiday season. One thing that's a great idea is doing a cooking cookie exchange. You can do that with coworkers or friends of yours. It's fun if you're not a person who bakes, 
Um, it gets you doing something that you normally wouldn't do. You can put on some little holiday music, get into the spirit of things, um, and cookies are very tasty. So that's another thing you can do. Finally, what I recommend is that you find time to relax, get some me time in. If you're a person who's doing a lot of holiday hustle and bustle, me time can be a godsend. So make that hair appointment, make that salon appointment. You know, men, go to the barbershop, hang with the boys, you know, talk to your barber, spend some time with your buds. You know, do something that's just for yourself. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to be alone, but it means do something that makes you feel good, makes you feel revitalized, so that when you're at home or at work, um, you feel like yourself again, you're not overly stressed. So those are just some quick tips. I'm sure I'll provide more as the holiday season progresses. Take care of yourself. Peace and love, everyone.